got kids, man. I got an eight-year-old daughter. I got a 15-year-old daughter. My 15-year-old daughter, she looks just like me. Just like me. Like, we're all gut, no butt. Pants just kind of creep up her crack. She's on the cheerleading squad this year because I guess they needed a base or something to build a pyramid on. <laughs> no, for Christmas, she wants the sweatpants that on the back they say cheerleader. I'm like, all right, I'll buy them for you, but you need to go in the dressing room and try those on. She comes out of the dressing room, she turns around, she's like, hey, Dad, what do you think? I think they say cheddar. <laughs> Speaking of cheddar, Arby's is having their three for five ninety five. Let's go, baby. Daddy's hungry. <laughs> My eight year old's at that stage. Everything's a question with her. The other day she looks at me and like, Daddy, why do girls have boobies? <sighs> I can't say for guys to play with, so uh, I don't know. So moms can breastfeed their babies and have a bonding time with them. Why do you have boobies, Daddy? <laughs> I'm not getting your bedtime, you little brat, huh? Huh? <laughs> Took my kids to church on Easter. Communion tray comes by. My eight-year-old looks over and she's like, Daddy, Daddy, I want some. I'm like, honey, you can't have any. You're not old enough. You haven't been baptized yet. It's like, well, fine, then. I don't want you. There's nothing to dip it in. <laughs> what? This ain't chicken McNuggets, baby. Huh? This is communion. <laughs> this represents the body and blood of Christ. My 15 year old looks at me and he's like, well, dad, if this is the body of Christ, I know what part I got because this bread tastes like ass. <laughs> yeah, we won't be going back to church anytime soon. Huh? <laughs> I'm religious too, I am. You guys, usually I wear a crucifix, but I went to put it on tonight. My double chin started choking out Jesus. <laughs> He kind of went from suffering to suffocating right in this general area right here. I call it the smashing of the Christ. I don't know what's going on. But... <laughs> Parents ever heard this thing called a contract for life? It's this contract you sign for kids that says, hey, you get too drunk at a party or you're too messed up, just call home, you'll get a ride. No yelling, no screaming, no reprimand. Yeah, that's true, because when I showed up at the treehouse and she'd wrecked the Barbie Jeep, Kool-Aid coolers all over the lawn, I didn't scream at her, I didn't holler at her. I scooped her up, took her home, put her to bed. That's what a good parent does. But when I need a ride home, this is all I hear. Dad, you're bending the handlebars on my bicycle. Dad, you're flattening the tires. I can't see past your big boobs. I'm like, see if I ever call you Friday again, you Huh? Oh, what, you don't like drunk daddy? You don't like drunk daddy? If it weren't for drunk daddy, you wouldn't be here. Guys, I'm Will C. Thank you.